hi Molly, thanks for joining us today. Um, if you could just yeah. take a moment uh, just to sort of tell us who you are and uh, what you do. Sure. Hi Ian, thank you very much for, for asking me to come along. So uh, my name is Murray McPherson. I uh, work for a, a company called Munro Wilson up here in the Scottish borders. So we, we work between Edinburgh and Newcastle installing um, solar panels, heat pumps and electric vehicle charging for homes and businesses. So we've got, we're a kind of small growing business with a team of six now um, together and we're um, out and about in our electric fleet, uh, getting Britain ready for the for the change to net zero. Fantastic, fantastic. So, as you just said, there, you're a relatively small business. How long have you been? Uh, how long have you been in the game? In the game. So, as a business, we've been trading since 2013 in different sectors, and we've been fully renewables for the last two years. So, since basically the start of the COVID pandemic, we we switched to full renewables. Excellent. Excellent. So, um, first question, why Zigaflow? Yeah, so finding a, a CRM tool was quite a challenge and I spent a lot of time doing it. But one of the one of the approaches I took to this business when we changed direction was building a platform to grow the business from day one. So I didn't want to create a mess first and then try and scale that mess. I wanted to get things right from the beginning. So I looked at lots of different CRMs um, and there's a difficult balance to find between being powerful enough to do what we want to do and simple enough to implement it without needing, you know, a, a, a whole IT team there to set it up for us. So the reason we went for Zigaflow was um, Sometimes with these things, the devil can be in the detail a little bit, but our our processes, because we're quite heavily regulated, require us to present certain information at certain times to the customer. And Zigaflow gives us the flexibility to be able to pick exactly the right bit of information and build it into our quotes or build it into our job reports and present it in the way that the customer needs and the way that complies with all the regulations we need to comply with. So so that was the one that made us go for Zigaflow over one of the more controlled tools that has less customization options. Okay. So was that um was that probably a ch uh, was that a challenge that you found with um sort of more sector specific CRM or software tools as well. Um, were they were they a little bit inflexible in terms of sort of how they how they worked with you as a business? Yeah, absolutely. So there was software available at the time that was set up for domestic EV charging installations, which is quite a bit of our admin. Yeah, but they couldn't do heat pumps, and we wanted right. to do that as well. So I didn't want to have a tool that could only do one technology that we do. We didn't. We wanted a tool that could do everything, and, yeah. and also allow us to change direction in future as well yeah. we don't want to be that our business is dictated by the software it has to be the software is dictated by the business so yeah that that was quite a common challenge it makes a lot of sense so what so what other um what other challenges were you having um kind of prior to uh choosing to go ahead with Zigaflow? um so managing the quotes was the first one and um, okay. we we, you know as demand was increasing through through word of mouth we were getting more and more inquiries in and um we were quoting the way it would work before we got Zigaflow was i'd put together the quote work out kind of what we need materials wise and labor wise to do the job quote it forget everything i'd thought about before win the job work it out again as to what <laughs> i need to actually do the job then yeah. The stuff and then um go and do the job and normally in that process something got lost along yeah. the way so so the trigger for me to say we really need a software tool here was to only do that once so we work out the whole job know yeah. everything we need to do that goes in the quote and then that information is retained for for building through the job so uh, we had that quite big inefficiency there um that, that was solved quite comprehensively are you muted, June? My bad. Sorry, I'd, I'd, <laughs> muted, right, I'd, muted, I'd muted there to cough. Right, I'm just recollecting <laughs> no myself. Problem. It's all right, I can't catch COVID from here. <laughs> <laughs> um, 
So what would you say has been the most beneficial aspect of Sigur Flow as a software? I think it's the fact that we've now got everything in the one place. So we're no longer like, um, you know, thinking, oh, we forgot to do that job or we need to go back to that person. It's it's having that central source of information that's allowed us to um, to scale up without it becoming a mess in the way that we organize our work. Yeah. Sure. Okay. That makes sense. So what, um, I suppose, you know, we, we, uh, it's, it's in the name in some respects, but, um, you know, how, how would you say the Zigflow has sort of improved the overall flow of your business on a day-to-day basis? Um, it's definitely brought an improvement as we've implemented more and more of it. So, so we took the approach of, um, working steadily through the process and transferring more things into Zigaflow. So we were actually running the quotes module for a while. Then we started running the jobs module. And then we have fairly recently started moving the invoicing over to Zigaflow yeah. as well, which took a bit of setting up, but has been worthwhile. And the benefits of that um, all being tied together in Flow is that it it allows us to keep all the customer information in one place. Yeah. So we've got, um, you know, we know when we did the job, we know when we sent the certificate, we know when we sent the invoice, and it's all in one timeline. Yeah. Um. So from from the customer's point of view, if they call us up and we need some information, we know where to look instantly, um, and we can see the flow of it. Okay. Um, and it's also because our sector is fairly complex. Supply chain is a big, big challenge. Yes. So. Although Zigaflow as a software can't necessarily improve that flow, at least we know where we are with everything. So if we've got a job where we can't start it because we're missing a widget, yeah, we know in Zigaflow that that job is waiting for that widget, and we're, you know, so even when the flow is broken for yeah. some other reason, everything's up to date. No, okay, that makes that makes a lot of sense, and I think you you probably touched on one of my next questions a little bit here. You know, we do. We do hear quite frequently from customers that you know visibility is is one of the massive massive benefits from it. Um, you know, aside of everything you've said there, how how do you feel on the whole with the business that that, that kind of increased visibility has has kind of helped in terms of you? I suppose not just you from a, a kind of leadership role, but also the, uh, the the team members as well, and you know as they go about the daily jobs. Yeah, the the team tend to quite like quite like using it because of the visual start to the interface so you can see your list in front of you when you um when you first go in there um and it just looks organized which i think is quite important from the motivation of everybody to put all the information in correctly and really yeah. start using the software correctly so um, you know, sometimes I even showed it to a new team member who was just coming in for an introduction and just being able to show all the cards and the jobs modules with the jobs laid out, you know, without getting into any detail, it communicates very clearly that we're on it and we know yeah. what's happening and we're, <laughs> we're organised. So that that visualisation is quite important. Um, and we're getting better as well now using the the reporting yeah. So, and that's something that we'll we'll continue to work with your implementation team on is how we report because we're putting a lot of good information in now, yeah. and it can give us some quite good insights into you know how much workflow we've actually got, and then that informs decisions like should I hire another installer because I know I've got X thousand pounds worth of work for them to do. Yep. And these these types of insights are really valuable. Absolutely, yeah. Well, you know, at the end of the day, it's 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 really important having that kind of you know having that data to be able to interpret to kind of understand what next steps to take. You know, we 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 say this to customers all the time. It's so important, you know, to to make make decisions based on information rather than you know rather than kind of estimates or second guesses. A lot of the time, it's 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 worth looking at the numbers right in front of yourself. Exactly. Uh, so, do you? Sorry, go on. No, 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 you go. No. So um, just to, I suppose, get a little bit more understanding as well, the the, the, the team at Monroe Wilson, obviously you you mentioned you've got installers out on the road. Um, 
what about location for for everyone else? You know, are, are you office based? Are you, are you working remotely or sort of hybrid environment? Um, you know, how's so the, how's Zigaflow sort of fit into that side for you? We're we're office based primarily. We've got an office in Duns here, yeah. but one one of our our main users of the system is our designer Hannah, who's um, she's a, a, a Zigaflow expert. Whether she likes it, so she's done really well, and she helps out with a lot of the the implementation of new features yeah. and stuff like that as well. Um, she she works from home sometimes. Um, yeah. you know, in a kind of hybrid model, and Zigaflow would is completely seamless and. In doing that, it doesn't make any difference where anybody is. Um, it works just the same way. Fantastic, fantastic. So, how would you how would you say it's sort of improved the I suppose the overall productivity of the business? Well, it's it's a that's a little bit of a tricky one for me to answer because we didn't grow the business until we'd implemented Zigaflow. Okay. So, because the approach I took was maybe a little bit different to some businesses, which I see where they start with, we've grown the business and now everything's all over the place. <laughs> and now now we need to get it sorted out. My yep. approach was we didn't have that much work on. We didn't need Zigaflow. We could have managed it with a manual system, but I wanted to build it to allow the business to scale. So I would say it's more for us, it's not so much improving the process. It's more about enabling the scale to happen. Okay. without it becoming a, a nightmare. So um, I think that's a bit different maybe to some other people, but that was the, that's certainly the way I would recommend to anybody setting up a business of this type yeah. to go about it. Yeah, well, uh, that's, uh, that, and again, that's, uh, that's a very, very fair response. You know, at the end of the day, it's... It's the, if you don't have the bench, you know, if you don't have the benchmark there to begin with, then it's it's, it's obviously it's a difficult one to to kind of uh, quantify in terms of productivity. Um, the so you mentioned obviously you, you you're up to six staff, but you did also say that you you know you've been technically training since uh, 2013 in one sort of way, shape, or form. How's how has Monroe Wilson grown? since kind of starting the journey with uh, Zigaflow? Yeah, significantly. We've grown from being based in the back bedroom of our house and turning over, you know, I think it was 120,000 or something in the first year. Um, we're now well on target to hit three quarters of a million this financial year. Fantastic. Um, which is quite a significant rise. We've got our own premises now. We've got the team built out. Um, so that's that's a big difference, and I think what's also quite important to recognise is that we've got because of Zigaflow and because of the team we've got in the office, we've got the capacity to grow. Um, he's a bit of a controversial character, Michael O'Leary, but one of the things I really like about how he grows his business in Ryanair is that they only hire cabin crew and um, pilots. So when they when they grow, they don't put in more and more layers of management yeah just get more operational staff yep and the platform that we've built here with the team in the office and the software and all, all of these things allows us to um to grow the business quite substantially without needing to continually grow the overhead I'm sorry, please hear and that's the real opportunity in it fantastic yeah no that's 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 brilliant to hear um so i guess um you know, you've you've gone through, you've gone through obviously a, a fairly quick um, spell of growth. Where 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 are you anticipating Monroe Wilson is going to be three years from now? Wow, that's the uh, that's the big one. I think we've quite comfortably got capacity in here to take the turnover to three or four million with the the platform that we've got, and um, that matters a lot because. We don't do a single project that doesn't move us closer to a net zero carbon economy. So there's no project that we're doing that, that isn't contributing. So every single job makes a difference to, to what we've nationally got to achieve to hit the targets under the, the Paris Climate Change Agreement. And then from then on, this office is a model of what can be done regionally and if we can get the right investment on board, then there's certainly room to scale that nationally as well. So I think we've got 
a considerable amount of potential. The market's there for it. We've got to get Britain ready for the petrol and diesel car ban in 2030. So Absolutely. Scale is um, beyond the limits of my imagination at the moment. I like that. <laughs> <laughs> fantastic. Fantastic. So, um, I think I know the answer to this one already, but I'm going to ask it nonetheless. Um, would you recommend Ziggerflow to other businesses? Yeah, definitely. Definitely. I think it's, uh, I think one of the reasons that, one of the things I look for in all suppliers, like in the equipment that we buy and install for customers as well, is the support aspect to it, because there is no, there's no such thing as a perfect product. And I think yep. everybody recognizes that. And if somebody sells you a perfect product, then you know that they're, they're full of doo doo. Um, and <laughs> so um, we've, we've been, you know, working with Zigaflow in, in your own development as well of the product. And that's, it's good, really good that you're quite happy to listen to our comments and yeah. implement features that we've asked for. Um, I remember particularly one, one where I was in, in the small business world, as you do, I was working at like half 11 at night on my sofa on Zigaflow. I reported a bug to the support team. Somebody else must have been doing the same thing at Zigaflow and I got a response back 10 minutes later that the thing <laughs> had been fixed. And yeah. I think that was beyond, well beyond expectation. So. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I would certainly, for this size of business and what we're trying to achieve, it's definitely the right tool. And I think also knowing your team, you would advise whether you, I think you know who your customers are. Yeah. So I wouldn't necessarily recommend it to a customer who's not in the right target because it does take a bit of work to implement. So if you, yeah. if you want to be a one man band tradesman, that's fine, but probably Zigaflow is a bit too much work to implement for that and the simpler solutions. If yeah. you're looking to grow your business considerably, then I think this is definitely a product I'd recommend. Fantastic. Fantastic. So a few sort of final questions just to um, sort of wrap up on this. Sort of one or two, one or two sentences. How would you ultimately describe the impact Zigaflow has had on the business? I think Zigaflow is a key enabler to the growth of our business. I think we couldn't do this complexity of this business without having a system that keeps us organized. Excellent. Excellent. And what, sorry? It's essential in that score. It's just necessary. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, and what's, the, I suppose, for anyone sort of watching this, considering, um, considering a, a new piece of software for the business, What's the one key thing that you would like to say about Zigaflow? I would say there's a lot of, um, what's the word? There's a lot of arrogance in the software sector. There's a lot of people will tell you that their system is just the best because it's the best without actually allowing any detail and so on. And um, dealing with Zigaflow is quite a different experience to, to dealing with other software companies than from what I've found um, because they're they're humble enough to to listen and um, you know to make sure that the software really does fit and then the software itself is flexible enough to be able to do quite a lot of what we're trying to get it to do so um, I think it's it's an important thing when you're looking for new software because it's not easy to change whether you like it or not you're kind of getting into a into a long-term relationship here it's not something that you can just switch your software every few months so it's worth making sure you get with a partner that you're willing to be with for the long term and not just looking for a one-night stand if you like. <laughs> yeah absolutely I, i'm going to just i'm going to just a one i'm just going to throw one final question in there um obviously um we 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 are not and we've never professed to be the cheapest CRM on the market. Uh, do we represent good value for money for Monroe Wilson? Um, I think in what in terms of what the software does, it's worth us paying for it for sure. And we recognise that, yeah, absolutely. It, there's cheaper ways that we could do it, definitely. Um, but we recognise the costs of running a small business. We know your development's been done in the UK. Um, which which is not the cheapest way to to do it, um, and you get what you pay for. So, 
yeah, that's that's the way that, that we've decided to look at it. Excellent. Excellent. Well, look, thank you very much, Molly. Greatly appreciate you taking the time to talk to us today. And uh, yeah, we'll, uh, we'll wrap up there. Thank you very much. Pleasure. Indeed.